Hello and welcome back to Quarterlight, your car brochure channel. Today we're going to go across the pond to the good old US of A for this American brochure for the Jeep Wagoneer. <laughs> Welcome back to Quarterline. And if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I'm sure you'll find something of interest here, but also it helps grow the channel and give you better content. But anyway, back to today's episode, the Jeep Wagoneer. First introduced in 1962 for the 1963 model year. And we are gonna be concentrating on that first generation here today. When it was introduced, it was introduced as a station wagon design before the terms like SUV were thrown around and it really was an innovation. It didn't really have any real competition. If you think about cars like the Range Rover, well, Land Rover hadn't introduced the Range Rover at that, this time. In fact, it was going to be another seven or eight years before that came out. And that came out in the UK and it only came out as a two-door vehicle. So really, it had the marketplace to itself. Uh, referred to as the SJ, this is the original that we're going to look at today. The brochure is from 1965. So let's have a look at that now, so you can pick out a few key points. So here we go, uh, the brochure for the 1965 US brochure for the Jeep. Wagoneer. And interestingly, it says here, great new fashion in a four-wheel drive, showing that this was certainly a great change, more car-like than any other four-wheel drive on the market. Um, the only real difference between this and the very early one, 63, had a slightly different front end, kind of like a thin grill going down here, but I'll try and pop a little bit of a, a picture of the early ones, which was only 63 to 64. By this time, 65, a few more safety features came out as well as this new front end. And also by late 65, we've got a couple of different engine choices, which we'll have a look in this episode as well. Uh, by 67, um, it became a four-wheel drive only model. In 65, like this brochure is showing, it's showing both an option for a two-wheel drive version or a four-wheel drive version, which we'll have a look at now. Love the artwork. A lot of the earlier brochures, rather than having actual cars or actual photos, they tend to do this sort of like artwork, which I do particularly like. Anyway, let's open the brochure up. Again, inside more lovely artwork, which is always nice to see. And these are a couple of actual color options. And we'll look at those later on in the brochure as well. Strange little horse scenes. This is looks more like a sort of like a uh, sort of an English hunting scene, doesn't it? Hunting with dogs and this sort of like a Jim Corner event. I guess it's showing, you know, it's this big vehicle. It could tow a horse trail, and you know, it could take your horse to uh, horsey events. I guess more great pictures here. We'll kind of like look in this in a bit more detail and have a look at some of what the text is saying. So it says here, the classic go anywhere wagon is more glamorous than ever. Smart new style and distinctive new colour fashions. Exciting new get up and go performance. Now you can get it all and with four wheel drive to boot in the Jeep Wagoneer. In front, the Wagoneers features a new wider grille, in back, new chrome tail lights and aluminium accent panels, or should I say aluminium accent panels, as this is an American brochure. Inside the custom Wagoneer, there are fresh fashions you'd expect only in sedans that cost much more, and you don't offer the road-hugging traction of four-wheel drive. It goes on to say, but there's a reason for all this, in our way of summing up all the technical improvements we made on the Jeep Wagoneer. The only wagon that combines family car comfort and appearance with the greater safety and go ability of four wheel drive. For instance, the standard Wagoneer engine, the High Torque 6 is new, and so is the 250 horse power Vigilante V8 the biggest optional power plant in any four-wheel drive wagon. 
there's a new optimal automatic transmission that answers to the name of Turbo Hydromatic, and the Wagoneer is the only four-wheel drive wagon to offer it. And with the Jeep Wagoneer, you get self-adjusting brakes, variable rate rear springs, improved steering and clutch op option operation. Retractable front and rear seat belts, backup lights, electronic alternator and a wagon load of other features. Without asking for them. That's why Wagoneer is synonymous with quality, safety and fashion. And it gives you these little, little images. If I can get that right for you. Uh, so the new dual range transfer case. The new turbo hydromatic transmission. These new tail lights, and of course this new uh, front end, new classic beauty built for duty. What a great title! And then this little badging. You can see the new Vigilante V8 engine. And you can see this sort of badging again, all drawn by someone, which is really nice. But anyway, let's um, turn the page. Oh, also on this page, it's saying here that uh, the custom Jeep Wagoneer is available as a two or four wheel drive and as a two or four um, door wagon. Let's turn the page and see what else it's got to offer. So as we can see here, more drawings, more of the same. It says at the top here, Jeep Wagoneer with four wheel drive adds new convenience to driving. Some lovely, lovely little images which we'll have a look at. Another image of this four-door one and this quite rare uh, two-door version which looks huge, doesn't it? Just have a two doors on it, but there you go. That was what was offered. We'll have a look, like I say, at some of the things it's describing here and a little bit of this text as well. Again, all little drawn images. It says here, the Jeep Wagoneer with four-wheel drive has twice the traction of ordinary wagons. Safer, surer traction on or off the road. Like you can see here, it's comparing it to a, a station wagon or a state um, before terms like SUV came about. And here it says, the Wagoneer has the biggest tailgate opening and the largest cargo area of any wagon in its wheelbase class. This lovely image of this very nice steering wheel. The turn radius of the four-wheel drive Wagoneer is short and tight, 22 and a quarter feet. Steering is almost one finger, finger exercise with the Wagoneer's full time power steering option. So, you know, still got power steering all the way back in 65. Over the leaf, we do have some text. We'll have a brief look at that as well. It says the plush comforts and a luxury appearance are features of the Jeep Wagoneer. Four wheel drive is the bonus. With twice the traction of ordinary wagons, the four wheel drive Jeep Wagoneer travels hairpin curves, slippery roads and muddy trails. Places two wheel drive cars slip, slide and bog down. And four wheel drive has never been easier to operate than in the Wagoneer. Thanks to new easy control of the transfer case and exclusive dash lights that tell you when your four wheel drive is engaged. With optional power takeoff and the proper uh, special equipment, the four wheel drive Jeep Wagoneer can plow snow, winch boats out of water and do a multitude of extra duty tasks. It all adds up to traditional Jeep usefulness, plus the appearance and comfort of a luxury wagon. Remember, this is probably going to be the first time a, a, a new customer is buying four-wheel drives, so it's kind of like showing the advantages of four-wheel drives. This is moving people from um, your station wagons into something a little bit different, and I guess this is where the birth of the SUV comes from. Four-wheel drives to people that really all they did is go down to the local supermarkets in it. And then we come to a few of the designs, the seats, the door cards, a few of the colours. So we'll have a look at this as well. 
So I'm not going to read all this because it's, it's becoming quite a wordy brochure for such a small brochure, isn't it? But I'll read some of it. I mean, the interior says the custom Wagoneer. One thing about the four wheel drive Jeep Wagoneer, you can roam around muddy job sites or hunting country all day long. But after a quick wash job, you have a wagon with class enough for any dress up affair. Seats in the custom wagon ER are foam padded and covered with a combination of rich rail, rayon nylon fabrics and soft expanded vinyl. Interior appointments include new door trim designs richly accented with a mylar new vinyl headlining, colour keyed front and rear seat belts and colour keyed seat belt ret retainers. Yeah, I mean, like I say, at the start the 65 brought a lot of new safety equipment on there one of the things was this front and rear seat belts which is quite advanced for the time it also came with a padded dash um, a high impact windscreen and dual braking system so it kind of like added some of these uh, new safety features we can have a look at some of the seat designs for various models as well as uh, the door cards for various colours combinations as well. And at the very bottom here, this is kind of like your standard uh, basic trim. It goes on to talk about interior ruminers. Don't let the Wagoneer uh, compact wheelbase fool you. There is plenty of room inside for six tall, broad shouldered adults. I don't think anyone was really thinking this is a compact vehicle so that's a little bit of a strange little little line maybe uh, americans in the 60s this was classed as being not very big but it was pretty huge to be honest um and some are more of the lovely drawings and designs i would have loved to have been an artist at this time for these brochures they're just fantastic aren't they and then finally, it starts talking about the colours. So new, the Jeep Wagoneer offers a greater range of interior, exterior colour fashions. All painted surfaces are first treated with a zinc, phosphate, coating and primer. Detailed inspection by experienced finishers follow the careful painting procedure. After paint inspection, all Jeep Wagoneers are undercoated and sprayed with a wax coating to protect exterior surface during shipment. The final step, dealer preparation, includes additional cleaning. That's how the Wagoneer gets its bright sheen and stays bright with just a minimum of care. And it says we've got nine beautiful colours. So we've got Empire Blue, Bronze Mist, Prairie Gold, Indian Ceramic, Spruce Tip, gold beige marlin blue glacier white and president red i wonder which one you would have chosen and then we've also got a wide range of different colors for the interior so rawhide charcoal marlin blue president red charcoal i guess there would have been the custom colors and your standard colors were rawhide charcoal and marlin blue and now it's going to talk about some of the standard safety features. I kind of like jump the gun, um, but I will go over them again. And some of the options that you could actually get for your Jeep Wagoneer. So again, it's going to talk about that four wheel drive being an option for safety. But you've also got front and rear seat belts, padded sun visors, padded dash, high impact windscreen, chrome outside rear view mirror, dual brake system, self adjusting brakes, four wheel warning flashes, backup lights, dual speed electric windscreen wipers and washers. And it gives you some nice little images of some of those. So that's your chrome outside mirror, your seat belts, of course and also your backup lights and then it starts talking about these optional accessories and special equipment you got this turbo hydromatic auto transmission you've got uh, air condition i love the uh, customatic lettering on there very nice you've also got this very nice option for a snow plow for four-wheel drive models only this big roof rack system, which would have been very handy. Power steering, which is great to have on such a big vehicle. You've got the option of that big V8 engine. 
your selector drive hubs for four wheel drive only. You've got a transistor push button radio and power brakes. And then on the final pages, it's talking about the two engine choices and the specifications. So let's have a quick look at that before ending the video. So late 65, we've got two new engine choices. We've got this high torque six, a six cylinder engine, 145 horses, 232 cubic inches of displacement, displacement and the Vigilante V8, the 327 cubic inches uh, big V8 engine. It does say at the bottom, but the biggest surprise is the Vigilante operates on regular gas. I'm sure it uses lots of that gas. And also we get a couple of little images, both of that V8 engine and the high torque six. So the power combinations, I'm not going to go through all this information, of course, but there it is. And then we get to the specifications and nice look at that dashboard that's been drawn on there. Some of the specifications, I'm not going to read all the specifications, but if you are really interested in it, by all means, pause this video at any time and you can read some of that specifications that were actually available. And of course, it was Kaiser Jeep um, Corporation at the time. On the back page, it's kind of like the reverse. So it's like, you know, we saw the front side of the car. We get a nice drawn image of the rear before we move down to the bottom. And then the, the badge at the bottom there, you can see the Kaiser Jeep Corporation, Toledo, Ohio world's largest and most experienced manufacturer of four-wheel drive vehicles few of the distributors a little bit of a key down here i think 65 is referring to 1965 and of course usa so there we go that concludes today's episode for the jeep wagoneer certainly jot down in the comments if you've got any memories of the jeep wagoneer or indeed still own one i'm sure some of the warmer states in the us there may be one or two of them still driving around thank you so much for watching today many more brochure reviews coming in the near future so please do like subscribe and we'll see you very soon so take care and goodbye